Alright guys, got a Glock 17 fully disassembled. A slide and frame. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and reassemble it. Uh, it's a Glock 17 Gen 4. Um, all Gen 4s are going to be similar. So you can use this for anyone. As far as Gen 3s, I don't know if... I remember there being like a 2 pin or a 3 pin difference, but either way. Uh, pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Put our... Uh, Slide lock spring on. Get your slide lock. Your slide catch, if you will. There you go. Alright, here we go. Get your trigger, trigger bar, and spring. Somebody's it's a little off right there. Pretty much hold it right there, but the spring tension is going to pretty much pop it out right there. So, what you do is. Do you get it in there? Put the small plastic one in. There, and that holds in this ass piece. Okay, next. Boom. See that in there. Big pin first. Nice and in there. Next, you're going to have to I see pretty much see that swing and that's moving right there. Actually, cause intention for this, for this uh, side release. The other pin, you can actually have to push this spring down, and then put the other pin through, so it gives it that tension. As soon as you let go, not so much. So here we go. Fuck my ass, dude. There it goes. See that spring? Right there. Right there. And then this is mine's still brand new, so just tap it in. Tap 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 a roo. Alright. So there's a slide and this makes sure the trigger bar and the spring assembly work. Push forward. Simple op check. Alright, next slide. Get your extractor claw. Drop that bitch in there. Safety pin. Firing pin safety. Pretty much goes in the hole. Then when you put it in, it'll catch. And then tension from this will keep it in there and won't fall out. See? Next, you put your tractor spring, firing pin assembly with spring, 
I get base plate. There you go. One, two, three pins in. Safe direction and I'll check it. Pull the trigger. Hold. Release. Pull trigger. Oop. There you go.